Hello and welcome to our video series on Tools for Assessment. In this video, we'll be focusing on SurveyMonkey and its useful and interesting features for assessment. SurveyMonkey is an online service that allows users to create web browser-based surveys. This service offers both a free account and a paid account that includes enhanced features. First, sign up with your email address on SurveyMonkey website. I've already signed up, so let's log in together. Here is the main page. On the left side of the screen, there is a Create Survey button. Click it on. On the left side toolbar, you can click on Start from Scratch button if you want to start your survey from scratch or you can choose a template from Start From Template. Choose your surveys to pick from here. I'm gonna go with Education. Unfortunately, templates with lock icon are not free. I'm gonna choose a quiz template. Click on the template to preview it. You can see questions and the layout of the template on this page. If it fits what you need, click Use this template. Here is the editing dashboard for your survey. When you hold the mouse on an area or a question, several options will appear on the right top side of the area you hover your mouse. Click on Edit. You can set question and options. Here you can set the text, add an image, video, or a tooltip to your question. You can also do this for each option also, as you can see here. And you can change the question type here. Select the correct option by clicking the tick box in front of the option. You can set more than one correct option and add individual point values here. You can set option settings by clicking options. You can change the display of the choices. Once you have done editing a question, click save. You can edit all of the questions individually. You can add a new question by clicking New Question button at the bottom of the page. We also see it at the end of each question's edit section. You can add a question also from there. When you choose creating a survey from scratch, adding a question will seem like this. You have to write down your question here and choose the type of it and add the answers. You can add questions also in the build section on the left side toolbar. You can click or Drag add a question. Scroll down here and add a single text box for your students to write their names and surnames to display them when you see the results. Fill this area, click on options, turn on require an answer to this question. So your students have to write down their names and surnames. You can move your question by dragging and dropping. On style button, you can set fonts of text layout background with a paid plan. On theme section, you can change your theme and standard themes are free. Logic part is not free. On options, you can set your survey as quiz if you create it from scratch. Don't forget to turn on it. You can add ready to use questions from question bank. You can choose the category you want to add to your survey and choose the question you want to add here. On format, you can choose classic mode, which we will see all of the questions at once. One question at a time, you can choose this one. Or conversation, which turns your survey into a chat conversation. You can download your survey on print section as PDF if you have a paid account. Let's scroll down. You can set the options at the end of your surveys page also. You can add done button if you don't have another page. If you have more than one page, you can add previous button or next button at the end of the page. And save the changes. To preview your survey, you can click this button or click preview on the top toolbar. If everything is fine, click next at the top right. We move to the Collect Responses, choose Send Your Surveys Your Way, as we use it as an assessment for our students and want to send it to our respondents. You can choose Share a Survey Link or you can post it on social media. I will continue with Share a Link. Click on Copy. 
and share your surveys link wherever you want. On Analyze Results, you can see the quiz summary and individual responses for each student. Now you know how to use SurveyMonkey. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or feedback, please feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more video education content.